Hey everyone. Legacy Radio Gaming here. Bringing you some Le Mans Ultimate online daily races. We're taking part in the Rookie Horror Show. And did we have a horror show today? We've been driving the Purple People Eater in this series. And we had a really good race. This was our first time getting fifth. So I'm going to let you guys uh, watch the replay here. But we were dealing with this douchebag Langdon the whole time. Um, right here you'll see there's a big wipeout. We end up crashing into this guy. We had no way of getting around him, no way of avoiding that. And from that point on, the car has was pulling hard to the right. But I didn't want to pit because I wouldn't have a chance to come back. So we tried to just gut it out, even though the alignment was shot from the first corner. And I'll let you guys watch and see how this unfolds. So there's another bump, two bumps right there. Couldn't avoid them. Alignment just got worse and worse. Got to give a lot of credit to most of the drivers in this race. All clean, a lot of clean drivers. Not everyone was intentionally crashing into each other. And overall, the Rookie Horror Show has been great so far. So we're up into fourth now. The driver in question is Langdon. Let's see if we can find him here by cycling through the drivers. So these guys look like they pitted early on from the accident. That guy just crashed. Langdon. Brad Langdon. So he's in second. <clears throat> so we'll watch it from his view for a while. Wasn't a bad driver at all. He's a good driver. But he didn't like when I got ahead of him he couldn't pass me and just started throwing tantrums and like ramming me from behind and you know he couldn't deal with someone like driving defensively in front of me he just didn't like it guy's a good driver though just a terrible sport But we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe from this perspective, we'll see it differently. So let's see. We'll watch it from this perspective and see what exactly happens that allows us to catch up and pass him. Shout out to Martha out front, first place. Real good driving skills. And this Langdon guy is just keeping it right there with her. Not gonna knock the guy as a bad driver. He's not a bad driver. He just, I don't think you should drive like that. If you can't pass someone, you can't pass them clean. You don't try to like ram them and cut them off and fucking smoke off, like hit them. Like he doesn't have the patience to pass you clean. He's gonna try to like bump you from behind and come flying up behind you and smoke into you and then crash himself and then blame it on you and then at the end he just literally punches off the track along with himself and it's like okay
these guys are in the pits. I think they're done. We're in fourth, closing the gap now. Remember, we are driving with completely screwed alignment up from the very first lap. First two corners, our alignment was blown. Card wants to pull hard to the right. This entire track, my thumb feels broken after this. Okay, so we got into third. Uh, someone must have pitted and allowed us to sneak into third. You can see the car pulling. I've just got to fight it constantly. Look at the wheel angle I got to hold it at just to keep it straight. But we weren't going to give up. See if we can find Langdon. These guys are all at the back of the pack. Here's Ramiro Martha. About to lap these people. Just driving like an absolute monster. Let's watch this guy for a bit. Okay, so we're ahead of Langdon now. So let's watch it from Langdon's perspective. No, we'll watch it from ours. So he's in, I'm in second, he's in fourth. So let's start watching him. Cause I think this is where he starts clawing back. I mean, let's start watching me. Cause I think this is where he starts clawing back. And once he starts getting on us is when we start having issues with him.
I think this Thomas guy passes me without issue. If I remember correctly. The issue is I just can't do the lap times fast enough in order to keep these guys off me. Because the car was just so screwed from the very beginning. The only chance we had was to drive really consistently. So we got Thomas in third, Langdon in fourth. Doing our absolute best to hold them off. But can't really hit faster than like a 141. In terms of lap time. This was a spot where they passed me. Oh, I, pa I got passed by Thomas, that's right. And then this is where it gets pretty close. And then I start I start having issues with this guy pretty soon on, I think. There he started hitting, like he was making contact with me there, trying to knock me out of alignment. I had to fight that like really hard. He tried pitting me from behind, you clearly saw that. He did not have to make contact. And then he's flashing his lights at me. There again, he was trying to line up a pit, but I went wide because I could see it coming. I just let him go by me because I didn't want to deal with it. I'm pretty sure he ends up wiping out again, and then we pass him a few more times before the end of the race and have multiple more incidences with him. So I think that was him again. I think he had spun out there. we had was just keep up the consistency because if we wiped out or crashed at this point with the banged up car we had there was no way we would come back at this point over halfway through my hand was killing me on the controller steering wheel would have been much easier to keep it straight with the mess alignment but we were digging in these corners hard coming out of them fast pushing it right to the edge So he is in fourth behind us at this point. We're doing our best to hold him off. He spun out, so we just passed him.
See, he's just constantly flickering his lights. It's like really immature childish behavior. There he tries pitting me again. See? Crashes himself. Literally tried to pit maneuver me and made himself crash. That's twice now. That he did it. it contacting me when he didn't have to. Flickering his lights in my mare constantly. Slamming into the back of me trying to pit maneuver me and this guy at the end of the race had the fucking balls to call me a flog Fuck you Langdon Not smart the sim racing community is a small closed bit tight-knit community Xbox controller. I'm just watching the replay right now. <laughs> He's really holding that against you, isn't he? <laughs> So at this point, lap 12, not much else has happened. We're still holding on to third. He hasn't passed us. Still just waiting for the next. Punting from behind. So I saw him, he's probably about three seconds off at this point. So far we have the first two events completely confirmed that he caused that contact. He tried to pit maneuver us. And he's also been flashing his lights in my mirror constantly. Luckily, I don't look at my mirror. He tried to pit at me again. Like, you want to tell me how this is my fault? There, he just takes us both out. And I'm apparently the flog. Okay. Do you want to maybe rethink that after watching yourself back, dude? 
why would you do that when the sim racing community is such a small, tight-knit community? Anyways, the rest of the race, we do our best to cling on to fourth. It's not easy at this point. The car is more fucked than it was originally. So we end up giving up fifth to this guy at some point. It looks like his car is pretty much crisp condition. He might have been someone who pitted early from the early accident. But he passed clean. Nice driving. Overtake him again for a second, but the car is too messed up to hold high speed, and he pulls away at this point. At this point, we're just so frustrated, I want to scream. Because <laughs> we had that until the idiot crashed into us, and he somehow ended up getting third place after that. Like... Just dickhead behavior, total childish move, immature shit, and then calls me a flog at the end, says I caused the accident. Like, you can't get more intentional than that. Like, watching that back, I, I thought maybe I was wrong. Like, maybe I caused it, but like, he had no reason to do that. Like, he tried pit maneuvering me, and it didn't work, because I was steering back against it. And he crashed himself, then the second time just took us both out in a childish rage. This is this this is might be the last lap or the second to last lap at this point I'm just praying to God the race is ending because I'm hoping to God we can get through this and I'm not gonna lose any more po more pole positions I was just waiting for a barrage of cars to go flying by me but I think us in the top five had put such a wide spread between us and the next group that it's the only thing that saved me at this point Now not only is the alignment worse than before, but the car does not want to hold the road very well at all. It wants to let loose anytime I really touch the brake or hit the gas past a certain limit. So these last couple laps were total butt clinchers. The other thing, I'm not sure how that Langdon guy is driving his car as fast as he is and in third place with him crashing into us like that, how he didn't have any more, how, how he didn't have more severe damage and made his car like practically undrivable because the damage model in this game is extremely punishing. Like you saw the little incidental crashes we had and the alignment of shot. And that's it everyone. That's the end of the race. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. There'll be more Le Mans Ultimate online events coming next Friday. Each day that the sim race episodes are released on, the next episode will be one week to the exact day. Stay tuned, everyone, for next time. And if you want to see more long-form content, check out our X where we stream regularly take care everyone hit that like if you want to support the channel hit subscribe and i'll see y'all next time track down some more dirty drivers knock on wood we don't have to hopefully we can get some clean races and maybe get that pole position we're chasing after peace everyone